Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Oops. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, lest any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe, whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Now, how do you come to that? You acknowledge the fact that you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. Rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. Period. Um, the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you everything. That's what he does. I, this article came out today. Now, this is uh, talking about AI. And this is disturbing. And this is what's coming. It, it might already be here. Scientists are developing AI so advanced it could be compared to a digital brain that may be even better than the human mind. Really? And we should be terrified. That's what it says. We should be terrified. According to one insider, Kevin Barangawa, or Barang Barangawa, founder of Deep AI, warned rapidly growing superhuman intelligence systems will usher in a new kind of future. And it is one that should terrify you. For a man who has stalked, who has staked his livelihood and a decade of his own life on uh, gen generative artificial intelligence, it might seem unusual to hear him calling for a crackdown. This guy is calling for a crackdown on the technology that he helped develop. Now that's not good. And yet the tech whiz has joined the growing chorus of Silicon Valley doom slayers who are trying to expose both the uh, immediate and existential threats the software poses to our future. Now they didn't start at something and they can't stop it. I said that before. They can't stop it. So now the, the only thing they can do now is give everyone a warning that this is, this is dangerous. According to um, the report, Kevin compared the rapid development of advanced generative AI interconnected machine learning tools that can be used to produce art, music, and even have ideas. These people are playing God. But now it's catching up to them. Because even the developers want, want this thing to stop. Because they can't stop it. You give Satan an inch, he takes a mile. And that's what's happened here. It says, and just like how we don't yet fully understand the human mind. We may get to a point where we no longer understand AI. It says if we create computers smarter than humans, then what's left for humans? Now, he also warned the battle lines are being drawn with two uh, warring, warring camps inside the big tech industry. 
with team accelerate and team regulation. Team accelerate and team regulation. So he warned the rapid development of AI, which is being uh, popularized by tools such as the highly restricted chat GPT, is comparable to the danger posed by nuclear weapons. The technology is developing too fast for its own good, says Kevin. Now, the Google CEO said the same thing. And so did Elon Musk. So all these people who created all this stuff, like I said, they gave Satan an inch and now he's taking a mile. This is going to be, this is already here. They can't stop it. Too late. Too late. All the fear is that all that, all the fear is that these AI minds will soon reach smarter than human intelligence level. And can we even survive this? That's the question. It sounds like a straight out of a sci-fi movie, but Kevin is incredibly serious. He told, uh, now I'm getting this off the sun. He told them, we're so good at it that it's already doing many of the same things a human brain can do. This is not going to be a battle between nations, but a battle between AI and humanity. He's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. A veteran in the generative AI world, Kevin has the inside scoop on how the development of uh, big tech's golden goose is happening too fast for its own good. This is the nuclear weapon of software. He said, and it is being released carelessly into the wild. Generative AI systems are exceeding all estimates and how quickly they're training themselves to harness even more data and use increasingly sophisticated algorithms. Top AI expert uh, Eliezer Yukowski called this phenomenon plunging toward catastrophe where the most likely outcome is AI that does not do what we want and does not care for us nor the sediment life in general. There, now, you know what? I don't recommend, I don't do this often. There's a movie, and I don't know whether you've heard of it or not. It's called Upgrade. It's called Upgrade. If you... <laughs> Watch that movie. I, and like I said, it's got language in it. I don't recommend all, but this movie, it will give you its idea of what, what they're talking about. It will give you an idea of what they're talking about, and it will also give you an idea of what Elon Musk Neuralink put together is talking about. The boys told me about this movie, and when I watched it, I was like, Wow. Yeah. Kevin's own creation is more harmless. Deep AI is software he built for naturally creative humans that includes a text to image generator and advanced AI chatbots. This is so dangerous. You know what? You can't, I can't even wrap my head around how dangerous this is. And this is so for the uh, great tribulation that's coming. It's not even funny. If anybody thinks that we're going to go through this as the church, they're, I'm sorry. <laughs> you really need to get into your Bible and read it because there is no way the church can go through this. This is evil. This whole thing is evil. This AI is evil. The guy here, he just said it should be illegal. And I said it before when I did something about AI. 
I could definitely see the Antichrist using this a lot. I'm going to link this article in the description box because this is here. You can't do nothing about it. can't stop it. Even the top makers of AI are telling people, slow this down because this is dangerous. If they're telling this, you have no idea. We can't even wrap our mind around just how evil and dangerous this thing is. So I'm going to link this in the description box. And if anything else comes up tonight, I don't think I got anything else. Wait a minute. Let me see. Uh, <clears throat> clashes is going on right now along the border of Egypt and Israeli, Israeli border. And this came in this morning. So something's going on over there. I will, that's came in off of Hal Turner. So I will link that in the description box. Um, happy Catterday. I keep forgetting to say that on Saturday. But if anything else comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you.